So this is for those of you who just picked up this ASCII art generator from me on Gumroad. So I'm just going to run through how to change all the settings and what they mean. Um, this is what it'll look like when you open it up. There are some directions here for how you can put your own image in. It should come with this video already loaded up so you can, you know, see what it looks like. Press play. Yeah, so over here, this is where you can change your, your image that you want to use. So basically, you just want to click on this node that's labeled ASCII image. Press tab to go in. And you just want to load in your new clip right here. So I'll just load something in real quick. So I just loaded this in. You'll see that it is stretched. And if I hit play, nothing is happening. You just have to update the frames right here. So this one I know is 300 frames. If it's a video, you just have to put down how many frames and then it'll work. And then you can exit with, there is an arrow up here, like right there. Um, or you can just hit tab to exit. And if this is stretched out, you just need to change uh, right here, these numbers to match this. So this one I'm pretty sure is 1080 by 1080. So I can just update that. And then you also need to update right here to get the, um, the pixel size working. So 1080 by 1080. And this just makes the aspect ratio correct for the amount of pixels. So this top one, I'll explain at the end. This is slide quantity. By default, it should work fine. But this is for if you want to switch sprite sheets. So I'll show you how to do that. Just like the image, you just click on it, press tab to open it. And here I have a bunch of sprite sheets that I already made. And you'll know how many characters are in each sprite sheet, how many slides, because I put the number in all of them. So this one has 94, this one has 95. 93, 10, this one also 10, and this one is 5. So I'll just run through and show you um, what all of them are. So I'll start with um, 5 right here. You just want to plug it in to the color like that, and then exit with tab, and then we just need to update the slide quantity to be 5. So this one, I'll just turn the resolution down so we can see it a little better. This one is just uh, a bunch of squares that have different sizes like that. And there are only five levels, so it goes from uh, almost completely white, not quite, but almost, and then there is one blank one, so you get completely black. I'll switch to this one right here, square 10. This one is pretty similar. You just have to update the slide quantity. This one's pretty similar, except it's just one uh, square instead of four by four. All right, the next one is another 10. And this one is characters, but it's only a few characters. The next one is 93. Oh yeah, and the, the one that I just showed does have a black space also. 93 does not have any black spaces. So we just have to update this again. And you'll see if I turn the brightness all the way down, this is the, the, the smallest character. There are no uh, completely blank spaces like that. And then 94 is the one we started with. It's the same thing, except it does have uh, blank spaces. And then 95 is the same thing, except there is also one uh, space that is completely white. So I'll set this to 95. You can see if I turn the contrast up a little and then also the brightness, at some point it will start to flood and turn uh, completely light, the maximum lightness value. This definitely works better for some images, something like that. So for resolution, you probably noticed um, I changed that and it does just change the resolution. Um, this is specifically how many uh, you know, pixels you're getting vertically. So if I set this to eight, there will only be eight characters uh, going up. Brightness will control the brightness of your image. Contrast is for the contrast of your image like that. Color override is pretty interesting. So by default, it'll just show the colors that are in your scene. Uh, but if you put this all the way up, it will use these two colors right here. So if you want it to be grayscale, you can just change the color to white like that. And you can also change the background color with this. 
uh, invert will just, you know, invert the brightness right here. And as you can see, when you invert it, the color is not in the character anymore, it's in the background. All right, so hard edge switch um, mostly only matters when you're zoomed in really far. You can see that there's no gradation at all. These edges are completely hard like that. And if you turn it down, it will get softer like that. Uh, the threshold is for when the hard edge is completely on like that. This basically controls where the hard edge starts. So if it's at zero, that'll be as, as big as it can be. And one will be nothing or as small as it can be. So if you turn it a little lower, you can see the characters are just skinnier, but they're still hard. So by default, I usually just leave this uh, the hard edge on and the threshold at zero. This helps when you're when you're zoomed out. This helps with keeping the image bright and the contrast high. So if you turn it down, you'll see it looks like it dims slightly. That's why I did this. Okay, so if you want to shoot this from a different angle, you can see it doesn't really work that well. Um, if you do want to shoot it from a different angle, you can just use this uh, switch at the top. This switches from the window texture coordinate to the UV texture coordinate. So you can turn it down and now it'll let you, you know, actually zoom in and look at it from different angles. And this also allows you to turn the resolution up higher and be able to see individual characters still like that. Whereas if you're up here using window and you go to render it and the resolution is too high, you're not really going to be able to zoom in and see the individual characters unless you uh, render it at really high resolution. If you want to learn how I made this, you can check out the YouTube video. There is, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll put a link in the description. And if you're seeing this from Gumroad, there should be a link in the product description also. All right, thanks. Bye.